Hi everyone, this is Ivo. This topic I will talk about Delta Wireless Gateway or DVW and how to set up the access point and crime mode. So you can see we will use the two uh, wireless gateway or uh, DVW. Then uh, you can see each DVW will have uh, two antenna. And here we also have uh, one IS485 and one IS232 port. And this one is for uh, LAN port. On the bottom side, uh, we'll have uh, two power input, like a power in redundant, and with one digital input and the uh, alarm output. So for these two uh, DVW, uh, we will set the first uh, access point mode uh, with IP address uh, 0.1.5. And for the client mode, we will use uh, IP 0.1.6. And for the first setting, we need the uh, Ethernet switch uh, to do the setting. Uh, after you set up, then uh, you can uh, remove the uh, Ethernet switch. But uh, just want to remind for the first time, because uh, all the uh, default IP address will be uh, point 1.5, point so you have to uh, modify the IP address uh, separately. Uh, I mean, uh, for the first time, you cannot uh, just connect uh, to uh, access uh, point, uh, I mean, the wireless gateway to Ethernet switch. Otherwise, you cannot find because uh, both uh, IP address would be 0.1.5. So you have to modify one first. Uh, come to the DVW setting. So here you can see we have to enter the IP address, then uh, Login with a username admin and password with uh, is password. Okay, so after that, uh, we can uh, go to basic setting and do the system configuration. So you can modify the name, device name, and uh, your location. And next step, you can uh, define the IP address. So that's what I mean. You can uh, change the IP address and uh, click apply. Uh, next is uh, we can modify the local time uh, based on your uh, real time zone. Uh, next would be uh, define the access points, uh, AP mode or client mode. Uh, so from here you can see uh, this uh, wireless gateway is actually uh, dual band, so it can support uh, two for import G and uh, 5G. Okay, and you can go to uh, operation mode and select the uh, mode as uh, access point or client. Then after that, uh, you can select the basic uh, configuration. For the access point, you can define, uh, select the RF mode, then uh, define the SSID and the uh, password uh, if you select the security mode. Uh, regarding the client, so here you can see uh, the difference for uh, access point. Uh, here we don't have a so-called size of it, but if you use the client mode, then here we'll have the uh, button for size of it, means we can uh, search the signal and the access point. And here if you use the uh, security mode uh, under AP mode, then you have to enter the password, then you can establish the connection. Uh, before we go to our web page setting, we can use the command to pin the device first. So here you can see because we already modified the IP address and so we can pin uh, these two uh, a wireless gateway. So next we will go here. So if you still remember for this one is uh, admin. And next will be the password. So we can log in and here is uh, what we mentioned. You can see the basic uh, uh, configuration over here and you can change the device uh, 
location. Example, we in Thailand, so apply this. So you will see the system location uh, modified to Thailand, and you can also change the name. And next is the network configuration. So if you want to modify the IP address, so you can change the IP address and apply. And if you want to change to the different uh, DHCP, uh, you can select this one and apply. Next will be the uh, time configuration. So you can uh, select the uh, time zone and uh, set the exact timing and click uh, apply. And next will be the uh, serial configuration. That means if you use the a wireless gateway and connect to a certain device with a, a mobile serial port, the IS485 or IS232, then you can uh, do some configuration like this, uh, select a mobile uh, ASCII slave for master, etc. Uh, next would be the operation mode, as we uh, mentioned earlier. So here, uh, because the first one we use the uh, access point, so here we just select access AP mode, and then uh, for the region, uh, it's actually now only the US and the Taiwan. So now we uh, keep uh, the region as uh, US, and then apply. And here you can find some uh, setting. If you uh this one you can uh select the different uh modes uh, just based on uh which mode you want to use. So example we use the uh BGN mix and this is the SSID so you can uh modify the name based on your uh your need. Uh then here is the security mode we have now uh uh, AES and uh, uh, DKIP uh, plus AES. So this one just uh, depends on uh, which one you prefer. So for example, we select the AES and uh, set the password uh, 128 and then we can apply. Uh, next will be the uh, 5G. So you can also uh, define a 5G operation mode and do the same setting and here again you can uh, modify the SSID uh, and the security mode uh, next so you can see we have have some uh, advanced function like uh, SNMP uh, packet control okay and the final one I want to mention is a uh, maintenance so here you can see we can check some uh, log, uh, like a roaming or mobile serial and even for the pin. And if you want to do the firmware update uh, upgrade, you can also uh, uh, click from here. Okay, and next we will go to the uh, client. So again, for this one, we use uh, admin and then uh, password. So you can see this one because I already modified uh, the IP, so it will be uh, 1.6. And then we can come to the basic setting. So you can also modify the device name, uh, location, and IP address, and uh, time zone. Next, we go to the uh, 2.4 uh, G, and here we select the client and uh, click apply next uh, we go to uh, basic setting and this is one I mentioned uh, we have the so-called size survey so we can click this one to search the signal of uh, wireless signal okay so here you can see we actually have a uh, many you now SSID so because we already defined the DBW uh, underline AP so we just click this one and select the security mode and the corresponding uh, password then now we can click apply 
uh, by the way so you can check the signal from here like this one we now we use a, a physical LAN cable connect with a, 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 a wireless a gateway and this is the signal and you can also check uh, from here so now uh, we will remove the cable okay so you can see that this and dbw uh, but uh, remember because uh, we define the uh, wireless escape way with the uh, specific ip so here we also have to modify the ip of uh, your uh, wi-fi uh, ip address Okay, so like this, we click OK. So you can see we already connect to an um, identifier network. And next, we can go back to here and check. So now you can see, uh, because we already ready remove the uh, physical uh, LAN cable, so this one will show empty. I mean, this one will not show the green light and. Again, we can uh, check the point one point five. I mean the access point. So you can see this one also uh, because no uh, physical wiring, so still show like this. And because this one is a access point, so there is no signal uh, uh, strength or intensity. And uh, finally, we still use the. Uh, main problem uh, to pin the device okay so let's all for this topic uh, this topic just uh, try to uh, let you know how to set up the access points and the client uh, thank you